okay good yes. sorry you have started recording now yes yes now uh, yes that's what i'm thinking you know okay so hello all my dear students today we have gathered here to discuss one great topic great conjunction on 21st december 2020 something is going to happen in our solar system each and every year having something importance and 2020 having one importance and that is the great conjunction so on this topic today we have discussion and along with us the master aryan patanshetty ruchir bharadwaj ankita shinde and altamash tambuli welcome all dear students in this session on behalf of poda international school and junior college sangli yes altamash altamash can you hear me yes sir yes altamash what is the solar system so uh, solar system is also called as planetary system it uh, it is basically a system when there is a star at center and planets revolve around it and even planets have moons and then in that system there might be comets asteroids and meteoroids included uh, the solar system that we are in has the sun as center and it has eight different planets okay so means you want to say uh, in our solar system there are eight planets so first is the mercury second is the venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune very well done uh, master aryan uh, altamash yes miss ankita yes what is going to happen in december 2020 so ankita continue ankita continue yeah so in uh, this month uh, the two gas giants which we know are uh, jupiter and saturn they are going to come together and they are going to be just 0.06 degrees apart from each other and uh, they look as if they are a double planet and uh, this phenomena is going to happen on 21st uh, december 2020 and this is called the great conjunction wow means a uh, great conjunction is going to happen in our solar system and uh, yes yeah, so what is the great conjunction we uh, want to know uh, from this uh, uh, ankita yes ankita a uh, next question for you means what is double planet ankita what is double planet double planet is an informal term which is used to describe two planets which orbit each other and they have a common center of mass but this center of mass is not located within the interior of either of the planets and the formal term for this is binary system okay means double planet when two planets come uh, close to each other and in in previous uh, answer you said the jupiter and saturn are going to come uh, close okay and the distance between them 0.0 degree okay so it's a great uh, something is happening uh, going to happen in our uh, solar system okay. yes master aryan what will happen on 21st december 2020 in our solar system Uh, on twenty first December twenty twenty, two of the largest planets of our solar system, which is Jupiter and Saturn, will appear close and will look like a double planet. What is even more intriguing it is that it is something that happened nearly eight hundred years ago. The orbital period of Jupiter is eleven point eighty six years, and Saturn's orbital period is twenty nine point five years. The combined effect of their travel around the sun. is that the great conjunction takes place periodically in about 19 years and 7 months however the separate the separation between the two varies from one conjunction to the other means yes very good so the biggest planet jupiter and second biggest planet saturn are uh, coming together okay means coming uh, close to each other okay and th that is known as the great conjunction thank you master Yes, Master Ruchi. On twenty-first December, twenty twenty, great conjunction is going to happen. So, can you tell uh, Master Ruchi uh, when did this happen before? Yes, sir. 
as aryan said that by doing some calculation but the catch is that in every conjunction the difference between saturn and jupiter varies so it wasn't visible so the great conjunction which happened in 1623 had saturn and jupiter so close like they will be appear on 27 21st but the thing is that they were just 13 degree east of sun so it was too hard to see them so if we have to find the conjunction which was appear in the sky and which was as close as it will be then we have to go back to 1226 march 4 means you want to say this great conjunction is happening after 800 years is it master ruchir yes sir yeah. yes master aryan that uh, ruchir uh, has uh, explained very well about this means before that also happened so i want to know uh, master aryan how can people see this historical moment master aryan so on 21st of december this spectacle or phenomenon will be uh, visible across the world especially in india and we can view this with our own naked eyes with our own very eyes since uh, it does not damage our eyes with the uv rays like uh, a solar eclipse does so this phenomenon is very safe for anyone to see um it is um since the two planets are coming very close and they are very bright in the space we will be uh, very easily uh, we will be able to see in the evening sky Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Very good. Yes. Means master Aryan want to say means this uh, is going. See, you can see this the movement of this Jupiter and the great conjunction is started. Okay. Means see, you can see in the western side. Okay. On fifteenth December, see the just uh, mo- size of moon. Okay. On sixteenth uh, December, twenty twenty. see the size of moon and now you can see on 17th uh, december 2020 the size of moon and see the these uh, two planets see that these two planets which are this is the jupiter and saturn and it is happening like this one on 20 december 21st december 2020 so all dear students you, we can see see the saturn yes we can see this there is a saturn planet and jupiter planet and see their angle and distance between them 0.0 degree and it is happening after 800 years and if we want to see this historical moment great moment so we can see uh, on 21st december 2020 after sunset clear and yes it is visible for all of us okay Yes, Master uh, Altamash. If we miss this great conjunction to see, so when can we see uh, in the future? Uh, sir, it depends upon the records. Like in instance, for some records, it was said that this occurred four hundred years ago. But at that time, uh, the at the moment that it had occurred, it was daytime in the western side, so it wasn't clearly visible, and there are like. not much strongly proved records that it had occurred but when we see in the years of uh, 800 years ago that is 1226 it uh, there are clear records about like uh, the people seeing saturn and jupiter much closer and it was like two stars meeting colliding with each other and it depends upon that like conjunction occurs every 19.11 years which is 20 years but great great conjunction will occur once in a 400 years or 800 years until unless like if we have technologies if we can see it while day time so we can see it after 400 years but to clearly see it with naked eyes we need to wait for 800 years for great conjunction okay but uh, uh, i can say so if is possible so definitely uh, no need to wait for 400 years or 800 years 
so uh, we can see in a future in 2089 okay 2089 because it's not a fixed time is there means 400 years or 800 years so we can hope means we can see uh, this great conjunction in future in 2089 so already uh, we have discussed what is the great conjunction what is the double planet and uh, what is going to happen on 21st december 2020 so now i am going to show one video the conjunction of jupiter and saturn is coming up and on the evening of the conjunction the sky will be very interesting but also during the weeks that lead up to the conjunction you should watch the evening sky we're using the computer program Stellarium to look to the southwest, and we're looking near the beginning of December. Jupiter and Saturn are pretty close to each other, setting in the southwest. Stellarium shows Saturn just a little bit dimmer than Jupiter. If you watch it in the real sky, you'll see Saturn's quite a bit dimmer than Jupiter, but it's still fairly easy to see. Just one week later, on the 14th of December, Jupiter and Saturn are still setting in the southwest in the evening, and they're a little closer to each other as we approach the conjunction. On the 15th of December, they're a little lower and a little closer. When we get to the 16th of December, that's Beethoven's birthday, I'm going to be looking for the moon, a very slim crescent just underneath Jupiter and Saturn, a little lower and a little closer to each other. On the 17th of December, the moon will still be in the neighborhood of Jupiter and Saturn, and it will still be a slim crescent. And on the 18th, Jupiter and Saturn are a little lower and a little closer to each other. It's the 19th of December. How much closer are they going to get? This is the 20th of December, and here is December 21st. In Stellarium, the names of the planets are right on top of each other, and it looks like the planets are also right on top of each other. All the planets, including Earth, are orbiting the Sun. And so we see the planets in different directions depending on where Earth is in its orbit and where the other planets are in their orbits. A conjunction happens when there's a alignment of Earth and two other planets. And in December, there's an alignment of Earth Jupiter, and Saturn. That happens about every 20 years, so if you miss this conjunction, you'll have to wait a while for the next conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. It looks like the Sun is almost in line with them, too. If it were perfectly in line, then this conjunction would be happening during daylight hours, and we'd miss out on it. But since the Sun isn't quite lined up with Earth, Jupiter, and Saturn, we do get to see this Sun conjunction just after sunset in the evening. From a computer simulation like this, it looks like Jupiter and Saturn are right on top of each other. But if we use our computer simulation to zoom out, we see that there is some separation between Jupiter and Saturn. It's about a tenth of a degree. Now, here's a dime. If I hold it sideways out at arm's length, the thickness of this dime will span the angular separation of about a tenth of a degree. So if the weather's clear on December 21st, I'm going to take this dime outside with me in the evening and stretch it out to Jupiter and Saturn and see if I can just fit it in between the two tiny specks of light. The brighter one is Jupiter and the less bright one is Saturn. Actually, I'm not really sure what it's going to look like to me and that's why I'm looking forward to going out on that evening. I don't know where you will be on that evening. We won't be in the same place, but I hope that we'll all be looking at Jupiter and Saturn together. Yes, okay. So this was the a great conjunction we have discussed today. So means tomorrow, means 21st December 2020, we can see this great conjunction with the uh, uh, many devices. Okay. Thank you all my dear students and enjoy tomorrow's uh, great conjunction. Thank you, thank you very much.